I want to know more about Possum and, yeah. and what was the genesis of it? Uh, well, I was asked to write a story for an anthology by Comma Press called The New Uncanny. That was back in 2008. And um, they asked the writers to reinterpret Freud's theory of the uncanny uh, for modern readers. So I picked two fears that, uh, that struck me a lot, which is the fear of dummies and the fear of puppets. And I wrote a story that kind of combined them both. Um, and then I was later, much later, I was looking for a, a project to write for a horror film and I wanted to kind of make a silent horror film but realised that was quite a difficult concept, you know, in the modern day. But this story was about someone who didn't really talk very much. So that felt, oh, that feels like you could make a silent horror film out of that story. So that's how it kind of came about and started writing and, and developing that story for the film. So you're looking at a character that potentially has is, is, is got a social awkwardness and, and has a problem communicating with the world. That's right. He's, he's, he has an inability to articulate a, a traumatic past, essentially. So he, he, he can't talk about it. He won't talk about it. And it's then you know, the job of expressing to an audience what's going on in his head and, and how is he coping with this thing. And that's, that's really what the film is about. So when you've got an actor like Sean Harris who is able to really give a very contained performance as well as emote a lot, I mean, that must have been such a boon to the film. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's an absolutely fantastic actor and he's a very physical actor as well. And, that's, and that's, that was perfect for this because, you know, like the old silent horror films where you know, it's very expressive characterizations there because there's no dialogue. And Sean was was doing that, and he was doing that kind of unprompted. He kind of, you know, felt that was the way to do it. So Philip is, you know, is a very um, expressive person, even though he doesn't really say very much at all. And you've got characters that are potentially. Um, um, flawed shall we say yeah. so when you're asking to put your actors through the paces and and get into that headspace I imagine you must build a trust with them to create an environment for them that they can then that's very important absolutely um, you kind of got to you got to protect them when they're bearing you know themselves in their part you know it's a very difficult particularly this film particularly you know certain scenes in this film are very very difficult um, to, to film and to perform more than anything so yes it was it was very important to um, kind of ensure that they felt secure but at the same time not so secure that um, that you don't get what you need on the screen so you know for example Sean and Alan didn't interact at all off, off screen in this film and that was part of their met method of working um, but it really served the film because you got that kind of crackling tension whenever they were on screen together yeah you're here at Fright Fest now yeah. premiere in your film you must be very excited to get very excited to yeah absolutely can't wait um, it'll be interesting to see what people make of it um, yeah yeah, really looking forward to it.